Can we just lift our hands again, worship him, praise him a moment? Yes, Lord. Amen. I want to give honor to Bishop Dudley, Pastor Dudley. Uh, this morning, I give honor to the other speakers that have uh, spoken to us, Elder Phelps, Elder Townsley, and to my son, Caleb Akers, and to all the ministers uh, that are here today to this wonderful group of young people, to the saints of God. And, uh, you know, I, I came to this camp uh, to relax and to enjoy the preaching, no pressure. And uh, Bishop Dudley changed that yesterday afternoon and uh, when he asked me to preach this Bible class. Uh, I'm not sure why, but uh, here we are, so uh, we want to... Let the Lord speak to our hearts. Yes, Amen. If you open your Bibles to uh, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, verse number 4. Uh, verse number. Let's start with verse number 1, reading down through verse 4. And uh, if you will uh, do your best to stay awake, I'll do my best to keep you awake. Amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians 11. Chapter 11, verse number 1. I would to God that you would bear with me a little in my folly and indeed bear with me. For I am uh, zealous, jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to a one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if we receive another spirit, which we have not received, or another gospel, which we have not accepted, you might well bear with him one other scripture before you are seated this morning in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 through 4 now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made and he said unto the woman yea hath God said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden and the woman said unto the serpent, You may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. And you may be seated. Several messages in this camp have made reference to voices talking to you. Truly, there is a battle in the mind. And from our two scriptures that we have read as our text, notice that the serpent was a subtle beast. The serpent's voice uh, is a means to deceive. First, the snake talked to the woman, and then the woman talked back to the snake. Then the snake twisted what God had said. The voices that you listen to, you talk to, you entertain, determines your destiny. 
And for a little while this morning, I want to uh, teach, preach combination on the subject of killing snakes. Killing snakes. Several months ago, I was leaving the farm. And as I drove over one of the bridges across the creek, I saw a snake. He was just laying up there on a log, sunning himself. He was asleep. I stopped the truck. I got my shotgun out. I loaded it. I aimed and fired, and I blew that snake to pieces. <laughs> that snake will never bother anyone else. I did not talk to it. I did not discuss anything with it. I didn't ask how it felt. I didn't ask where it came from. I didn't ask where it was going. I didn't even ask where it lived. I wasn't concerned who his friends were. I just shot the snake. I did not feel bad. I did not cry. I have no regrets. I'm glad. I shot the snake. I didn't, I didn't ask about his family. I didn't ask about his religion. I didn't ask about his plans for tomorrow. I just shot the snake. I'm not even worried about his past but I fixed his future. I wasn't worried about what kind he was. He was a snake and I just shot him. And when I blew him apart and the blood splattered, he fell into pieces. I smiled, I was happy. I shot that snake. There wasn't any Eve talk going on. Adam needed a shotgun. No peace talks. No compromise. No sorrow. Just shot the snake. know where his family is I really don't care but if the family shows up I'll shoot the family a few days ago I pulled up to cattle guard at the west farm got out to open the gate. And this snake came sliding by and went up into a tree. And this time I didn't have my shotgun, but I pulled my 380. <laughs> and I unloaded on that snake. And he fell out of the tree onto the ground. He was alive. So I got my AR-15 pistol out and I shot him to pieces. Still had the same attitude. That snake will never bother anybody else. I didn't talk to it. I didn't discuss anything with it. I didn't ask how it felt. I didn't ask where it came from. I didn't ask where it was going. I didn't ask where it lived. I didn't ask who its friends were. I just shot the snake. I didn't feel bad. I didn't cry. I have no regrets. I didn't ask about its religion. I didn't ask about its plans for tomorrow. I just shot the snake. Wasn't worried about its past and I fixed its future. Wasn't worried about what kind he was. 
He was a snake. And I ripped him apart. Oh, I was happy. Adam needed an AR-15. Amen. No peace talks, no compromise, no sorrow. I just shot the snake. Amen. Just killed another snake. Well, let's have some fun today. Let's kill some snakes today. When the spiritual snake shows up, a snake of fear, a snake of doubt, a snake of rebellion, a snake that wants to reason it all out. You know what you need to do? You need to kill that snake. I need some help today. I need some people with some spiritual shotguns. Come on, rack it. Put that shell in there. Let's shoot some snakes today. Boom. Hallelujah. You may be seated. What in the world are you doing? Talking to the snakes in your mind. What are you doing having a discussion with them? What are you doing entertaining them? Well, you might say, I don't know that it, I, I, I'm not sure it's a snake. Well, let me tell you something. If that hissing, rattling sound, and it looks like a snake, and it acts like a snake, when that voice begins to talk to you, and begins to be negative about God, and negative about the church, and negative about your pastor, it's a snake. snake wants to criticize your pastor. He wants to twist the scripture. You know what you need to do? Boom! Shoot that snake. This morning, young people, there's a lot of snakes out there. And they want to accuse you and declare to you that you can't make it. That you're going to be lost. They want to tell you that it's impossible. But you need to shoot that snake. You can make it. I said you can make it. That hissing sound. That hissing sound will come along and tell you. The church is going to fail. The ministry is going to fail. The pastor is going to fail. What are you going to do about that voice? Come on. Some of you girls get some shotguns out. Shoot that snake. Any of you boys got any shotguns? snake will come along it'll tell you you know (laughs) you really don't fit in it's really time for you to find another church and another pastor what are you going to do with that voice shoot that snake not going anywhere. Not listening to your snake. Boom. Uh, that snake would come along. You'd be 
begin to talk to you. Try to get you feeling sorry for yourself. Nobody loves you. Nobody cares. You're all alone. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're getting it. Gonna shoot that snake. I'm not alone. I got a pastor. I got a church. I got a good young group of young people. I'm gonna shoot that snake. That snake could come along. You know what? You got a future. You, 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 you don't need to listen to the pastor. You need to, you need to go somewhere to some fancy college and get you a degree and make you some money and be somebody. Hello? What you gonna do, young men? Yeah. Yeah. What you young ladies gonna do? snake comes along and he tells you he tells you ah uh, all of them rules are not necessary ha, you don't need to live like that them standards them standards you don't need to live them standards hey you got it we're killing snakes today snake killing time Young ladies, here comes his snake. And he says, you know, a little makeup wouldn't hurt. Woo! Oh! Shoot that snake! It's all right to wear that tight dress. Oh. What do you think, young men? Snake comes along, looks at you young men, whispers in your ear, say, you know what? You'd really look cool if you'd get some of them long sideburns, a little goatee. Yeah. That snake would come along and say, you know what? You'd really impress the girls if you'd look like that. Ooh. What do you think, girls? Well, I don't know. It sounds like the girls are out shooting you. This. Ah. Well, along comes a snake. Oh. What's wrong with a little golden ring on your finger? Yeah. Little, little, oh, little diamond ring. What are you going to do? Man, y'all are getting shotgun happy around here. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. What are you going to do with a snake? That snake come along, look at you young ladies, tell you, you know what? 
If you live for God, you're going to die an old maid. It's a lion snake. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. Man, that snake will come along and tell you, young man, you get in there and you really live for God, you really get dedicated, none of the girls are going to look at you. Ooh. Shoot it again. Ooh. What do you think, girls? You know, a snake will come along and he'll, he'll talk to a young man. He'll come along and he'll say, you know what? There's just not enough girls in church. You need to look for one out in the world. He'll come along, he'll bring some Jezebel into your life. What do you think about it? What do you think about it? You know what that Jezebel will do? She'll turn your life into a living hell. Don't you listen to that snake! Culture we're living in. You marry some Jezebel, you'll come home, she'll have your children's ears clipped, a tail on it, on your child. Call it a cat, buy a litter box for it. What do you think about that snake? Ooh. What about it, girls? No. Ooh. Ah, them girls got some high-powered shotguns over there. <laughs> That snake will come along, girls, and it'll tell you, you know, it's all right. Flirt with that center boy. Ooh. That snake will come along and tell you, you can marry him now and get him filled with the Holy Ghost later. Come on, what do you think about it? That's right. Take that one, snake. You marry that sinner boy, you know what he'll do to you? He'll abuse you. He'll wind up being some kind of pervert. Leave you to raise your children all alone. Take care of that snake before it ever shows up. I said, take care of that snake before it ever shows up. He may be seated. Oh, help me, Lord. The snake likes to pick on the man of God. They could come along and say, you know what? Your pastor, he's just old and he don't know how to get into the style of things and he needs to change things up. You come along and tell the girls that the pastor's wife, she's some old school she needs to modernize things. What do you think, girls? Come on, come on, come on. Shoot it again. Oh, man. Snake! 
Jake comes along, make a little money, he'll tell you, you know what? You don't make enough money to pay your tithes. You're a young person anyway. Let's try it again. Ooh. The snake comes along. He'll tell you, you know, there's some things that really don't matter. The ministry makes too big of a deal out of them. One little cigarette really won't hurt. One little drink of beer won't hurt. We girls think. It's all right to watch, sneak off and watch a little movie. Well, man, them snakes are having a hard time today. Y'all are wiping them out. A snake comes along and tells you girls, you know what? You ought to try on a pair of pants. Just to see how you would look in them. Ooh. Boy, you wiped that one out. A snake comes along and uh, he'll tell you about anything he can to deceive you. You're going to have to run around, go around with your shotgun loaded. And every time the devil shows up, the voice in your mind, I said the voice in your mind, begins to try to play with you. Don't give it any time. Don't even listen to it. Don't even talk to it. There's one response. Ooh. Yeah, man. You may be seated. Several months ago, Brother Caleb, my son, bought an auto, a semi-automatic shotgun. We wanted to see what one of them looked like, what it'd do. And the thing didn't work right. So he did a little work on it. And uh, when he got through, you could pull the trigger and it would shoot two times. It was almost an automatic. <laughs> you know what? Some of y'all need to get some automatics. Yeah. What does an automatic sound like? <laughs> Come on, girls. Man, that's killing snakes now. That's wiping out snakes. Some of you, you entertain snakes way too long. You listen to the wrong voices way too long. You need to learn to get your Holy Ghost worship and praise out. Start killing snakes. Don't even let them get into your mind. Get rid of them. Seated. Let me just tell you when you listen to the snake, what happens to you? Our culture, our world is messed up. Statistics show that 37% of American women are in depression, 21% of all American men are in depression. Between the ages of 18 and 29, 25% 20 
of those are in depression. 15% of the children recently have received mental health treatment. Suicide is at a all-time high rate. That ought to tell you enough. You don't need to listen to the snakes. You got a good pastor. You got a good church. You got a good youth group. You got people that love you. You got apostolic doctrine to get you to heaven. You don't need to listen to any of the snakes, any other lies. What are you going to do when they show up? What about some automatic? And I, I, I feel a, a, a snake killing spirit in here. Yeah. Hallelujah. And this place is loaded down. And there's a bunch of shotguns out there. What are you going to do when the devil begins to mess with your mind? When he begins to try to tempt you? Maybe seated. I'm almost through this morning. But I'm hoping that something that I have said have got down inside your heart that the next time that voice begins to talk in your mind you have a proper response when you see that snake's head begin to move you don't ask anything about him you don't ask his name or who his family is you don't want to know about his past all you're going to do is fix his future In the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fallen from heaven. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. God gave you the Holy Ghost. You've got the name of Jesus. You don't have to run. You don't have to fight. You don't have to back up. You don't have to flee. You can fight the snake. (laughs) Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Can we stand? I still believe we got a little bit of time today that we can do some snake killing. Some of you came this morning with voices. Hello? You came this morning and there were snakes around you. It's snake killing time. I said it's snake killing time. I want you to gather around the front for just a few moments. And I want you to lift your hands and begin to worship and praise God. 
And every once in a while, let out a boom. When that spirit that you've been trying to talk to you, come on, that snake's voice lies from hell. Demonic spirits trying to deceive you, trying to mess with you. Boom time.